Good morning, YouTube and Facebook people. I am on my way to the Dollar Tree. I got my makeup did. I got my Hawaiian shirt. And I'm going to go buy some stuff for a dollar. Um, I wanted to do a haul. I saw One Thread at a Time do her Dollar Tree haul. And I like watching those types of videos. And it made me want to do one. I actually went yesterday and I was in the parking lot and I just couldn't think of anything that I would want to buy. Um, so I thought on it. I watched a few more videos of other people. I kind of got an idea of stuff that, yeah, I wouldn't mind finding that and picking it up. So I'm gonna go search for some stuff. Um, my, my biggest thing is tortilla chips. I really want some tortilla chips because my mom gave me some salsa yesterday. So yeah, that's gonna be my lunch. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and film while I'm in there. It might be a voiceover. I'll actually edit a video. This will be my first edited video on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm, I probably won't talk. I've never vlogged in public or at all. So yeah, welcome to my first vlog too, I guess. I will see you inside of the dog. I'm gonna hop back on here real quick. I forgot to mention that since I don't know what I'm looking for exactly, um, I'm gonna zigzag through every aisle just to see what there is. I mean, I was just here a few weeks ago with my mom, but we were like on a mission, just looking for Easter -y stuff. So, yes, that was all I wanted to say. Okay, I'll see you inside. This is the personal care aisle, bunch of shampoos, conditioners, body washes. And here's where I found the soaps that I hauled, which you'll see here shortly. Um, yeah, very big selection here. I like it. This is my favorite aisle, right here. I love office supplies. Not pointing at anything, my finger just got in the way. Um, and here I'm just showing you that there's the summertime section, but um, yeah, they had it closed off because they're still setting it up, so that's a bummer. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> there was a balloon floating around. I'm easily amused and easily distracted. Bye balloon, bye bye. Okay, I just got back out to my car. I'm sitting in the parking lot. And remember just a minute ago, I said I came here and I parked in the parking lot yesterday and I just didn't know what to get. That lady just gave me a dirty look. I can talk to myself if I want to. We're crazy in Colorado. Her plate says she's from Kansas. Um, yeah, the I didn't know what to get and the only thing I could think to get was corn chips. So I didn't want to make the video yesterday because I was like, well, it's going to be pretty lame. I'm going to get like three things and that's it. Okay, so I got my corn chips, or my tortilla chips, and then I spent $43.74 in the dollar store. Uh, I put a few things back, because I got multiples of things, and I was just like, Valerie, no, you don't need all this stuff. So it probably would have been about 50 but I put some stuff back, and I was going to do a haul inside my car, just sitting right here. But it's too much stuff. It won't even fit in the front seat. So maybe I'll go home and we'll do like a trunk haul. I'll sit in my trunk. It should fit in there. Um, but yeah, I was just surprised at how much I spent. And then I was a little bit embarrassed to go pay for stuff. Because I had a cart full of randomness. Like, who needs all of this stuff? Me. I do. I need all of this random stuff. Um, but yeah, it was interesting just to see what our Dollar Tree had. I found a few cool things. Most of it's like stuff that I need around the house. Nothing like cool. No, it's old lady stuff. I'm old. I get happy with detergent. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna drive home now. People are watching me talk to myself. Um, yeah, so I will see you from the trunk of my car. Okay, I was wanting to do this haul outside, but I live on a very busy street and every single truck that goes by is crazy noisy. And the lighting is not the best. Should I move? I'm sitting in the back of my trunk. Like the, the lid opens up obviously this way. Hmm, let me see if I can find a better, I mean, if I get close, it's not, but then once I scoot back, where'd my face go? One sec, let me figure okay. this out. This will have to be good enough. I'm sitting outside of my car now. Um, this shed right here is actually my Poshmark inventory storage. So yeah, I spent $43.74. It doesn't say how many items I got, but yeah. Let's get started. First and most important is the tortilla chips. This is going to be my lunch today. 
Next is this like piggy bank jar. It's a mason jar with the cutout and it says road trip fund. And I thought it was cute. And we're actually going on a little road trip here shortly. So I thought it was cute. Um, these I picked up to try. I typically eat pretty stinking healthy. And I read the ingredients and it's not the worst thing for you. But it's these uh, extra crisp french fries. And it's like a single serving. There's 180 calories in this whole box. So, not too bad, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try them. Um, that was one bag. Next, I don't remember if... Oh, there goes trash. One second! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My trash was blowing away. Um, like I was saying, I, I don't remember if... Kimmy got sponges. I can't remember what all she got in her haul, but I don't know. These made me, her video reminded me of sponges. I'm not sure why. Did she get sponges in that one? Sorry. Anyway, longest haul ever. I got some sponges to try out. Um, I also got some dryer sheets, the scented ones. They smell pretty good. It's just the Dollar Tree brand. So I figured I'd give those a try. And then I re recently bought a Swiffer sweeper thingy, and the refills are kind of expensive. So this is a 10 pack for a dollar, and they're the wet ones. So I was gonna try those out. They also had a bigger pack, I think it was 20, but I'm gonna try these first and see if they work. And then maybe next time I'll try the one that has more. Um, this is to clean out my water bottles because with the warmer weather we go on more hikes and walks and I can never, I can't reach my hand in there, you know. Um, this is just for like salad dressing to go. Like I said, I eat pretty healthy so that will be nice for my special salad dressings. I think I got two of these. I don't know where the other one is. But it is a sweater storage bag. It's 18 by 12 inches, 3 inches deep. And I got these for mine and Chad's winter clothing so that I can put them in here and shove them under the bed. And hopefully they'll be okay. Oh yeah, here's the other one. So four total, because there's two in each of them. And that should be enough for our jackets and stuff. Oh, okay, there comes a cloud and my dog. Hi, Bella. I'm doing a video right now. Go lay down. Keep going, keep walking. Come on, Bella, go. You can't, you can't stand right there. Go, Bella. Good grief. Um, I go. You're stepping all over my stuff. Oh, good grief. That's Bella, and she just got slobber everywhere. Anyway, I am. Um, I really like um, folders and not journals, not folder. What's the word? Notebooks. I like notebooks, and I thought that was super cute. I always have a notebook next to my desk when I'm working listing and taking measurements and stuff um i'm not sure if this was a good deal or not you get 13.8 yards total you get two things of tape but i use these for my shipping and i'm almost out these i actually have a bunch of but i figured i'd pick them up to show you guys they're these cute tiny little clothes pins like size of my top of my finger and I use these in my shipping I'll wrap it in tissue paper and then I tie some twine and then my thank you note I use a little clothespin to hook it on there and this looks really cute um this I got for my flower garden I'm gonna plant I'm not sure how long it'll last it's from the Dollar Tree but I don't know where mine is I think the dog probably took it I got these for my dad he was wanting some little notebooks that he could put in his pocket, but he specifically wanted like the ones that flipped at the top and not the side. So there's will be for him. Um, these are little flossers. Um, one will go in my car and the other one is for Chad for him to put in his toolbox at work. Now these I'm a little hesitant to use. I have a pretty sensitive face, skin. <laughs> my face is sensitive um so i don't know that's makeup removers because me and chad are going like i said on a little road trip in i think three weeks and i really want to pack lightly 
so I'm hoping these will be okay so I don't have to like be washing my face while we're on the road because we're gonna he bought a special van I'll take pictures of it later or I'll do a video of it um, and we're converting the van into like a traveling road trip camping van and I don't want to have to pack a lot of stuff with me so hopefully these work and don't break me out um, this I saw Kimmy haul they are the Scotty's tissue, but I couldn't remember if she got the soft ones or the ones with aloe vera. I got the ones with the aloe vera because I have really bad allergies and so does Chad. We have a vineyard and a hay field and holy smokes, with the hay field, our allergies go crazy. So maybe this will help with our noses when they start to hurt from blowing them so much. Um, it's, I got eight of these baskets, I'll show you. It has holes. It's like a thicker plastic too, and I like that it has the thick handles on it. But I just got these to organize under my bathroom sink, and then also Chad hung up some cabinets for me that are like um, like a medicine cabinet type thing, and like extra soaps and shavers and stuff. So I'm gonna use these to organize that. And then that same cabinet I was talking about, I figured I'd try one of these out and see if it even fits. It's like a in the picture they have cups and bowls but i don't even know if it'll fit yeah it'll fit so that i can stack stuff so maybe i'll go get more of these if they work out in the cabinet um two more bags oops gee i found this cute cat mug it says i love cats and the eye is like a fish bone and it has it on both sides it took me a while to find one that didn't have chips on it so I really like that. We rarely use regular cups in our house. I'm trying to convert all of our drinking cups into funny and cute mugs. So that will go in our collection. Um, they had a bunch of seasonings and I like to try new things, but I don't eat sugar. So it's hard to find stuff that doesn't have sugar in it, but this one didn't. And it's a salt-free seasoning. And it sounded good. It has granulated garlic, minced onion, orange peel, black pepper, crushed red pepper, parsley flakes, and lemon oil. And I thought that sounded good, so I'll maybe try that on some chicken. Oh, speaking of chicken, I'm not going to use that seasoning, which actually, I don't know if I, I probably can't make it tonight. I looked for seasoning salt because I'm pretty sure in Kimmy's video, she, um, use seasoning salt on that recipe that she made. I did get some corn so that I could try out her recipe and I'm excited to try it because it did look really good. But I can't make it until I find seasoning salt. Um, let's see. Um, I got these. It's Fragrance Booster Reha. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just tried to read like French. <laughs> It's just a fragrance booster. Um, in wash, long lasting freshness. It actually smells pretty good. Like it smells really, really good. And it's just the little beads that you put in with your wash and it makes them smell even better. And the ones you get at Walmart are really expensive. It's like seven, eight dollars. And this one's 15 ounces for a dollar. So I hope it works out. I'm gonna try it on some of my own personal laundry, not my Poshmark stuff, just in case it like dyes it blue. But if it does work, then I'm gonna go clear off the shelves at Dollar Tree and get them all. Um, next, the last thing actually I got, I saw people hauling these in their Dollar Tree videos. And I was like, uh, I'll try them, I'll see. They probably don't even smell that good. No, they smell good, go get you some now. It's the Soft Soap brand, which is a really good brand. But I got multiples. There was four flavors but I only liked three of the flavors. Um, oops. What is it? <laughs> and then two of the Earth Blends. They all smell really, really good. And I saw a bunch of people that were looking for these ones in videos, and it, it is. This is probably the best smelling one. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like summertime. Um, and that was all of those. Oh, I guess I had one more thing. Um, when I do my dishes, I put my soap in and then I like to put just a little bit of bleach in it to make sure everything comes out clean. I have a dishwasher, but I prefer to hand wash everything. 
because it just saves a lot of water. I hate using the dishwasher. It wastes so much water. But anyway, they had these Clorox cleaners. It's a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, I think it's fine to use on your dishes though. And these ones are fragrance. This one is like a springtime scent. And then this one is morning sky. Not sure what that smells like. Is it open? Uh, yes. It smells good. It smells like laundry actually. I don't know if you can use these in that laundry. Oh. Yeah, you can. Where to use? Kitchen floors, bathroom, pet areas, laundry for freshening clothes in the wash. Use only on color fast fabrics. Okay. Um, for paint, painted surfaces, test a small area first. Okay, cool. It doesn't say anything um, that you can't use. Yeah, cool. Let me smell this one. That is kind of weird though that nothing had, well, the spice did, but nothing really had, ooh, that smells good. That smells really good. Um, there's that one if you want to go try it. That smells really good. Um, yeah, I might start using this in my uh, laundry instead of regular bleach because that smells fantastic. Um, yeah, that is my entire haul. Oh, and also, these were only 79 cents a can. They weren't a dollar, so I thought that was cool too. Especially because Libby's, I don't know if this is everywhere, but Libby's is a really good, like, higher name brand. Um, yes, that is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you for inspiring me to do this, Kimmy, at one thread at a time. I will link her information down below again. Um, yeah, it's just something new. Hopefully it comes out okay and my camera skills are okay for vlogging. Um, I was going to do my outro. If you see something you like, go visit my posh closet. You can at Vella Milk but there's nothing in this haul that will be there. Um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Maybe it'll be a tour of our van that we're converting into a camper. It's pretty cool. It's a cool van. Um, ooh, ah, the receipt. Okay, but thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, especially if you make it all the way to the end. That means a lot to me. Um, I hope y'all have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.